Hi there, my name's Molly and I'm a student at the University of York and part of the Scott Award Committee. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make this cute cat out of paper. The art of folding paper is called origami and it comes from a country called Japan. The word origami literally means to fold paper. To make your cat, all you need are two pieces of paper and a pair of scissors. I'm going to be using yellow paper to make mine, but you can use whatever paper you like. With one of your pieces of paper, take one corner up to the opposite side so they line up like this all the way and flatten it to make a fold. Then with your scissors, we're going to cut along this line all the way across. Now scissors are sharp, so be careful, and you might have to ask a grown-up to help you with this bit. So you've got a big triangle and a little rectangle. You won't need the rectangle, so you can put that aside. Turn the triangle around like this, so the straight side is nearest to you. Then take a bottom corner and bring it up to the top corner, like so, and press down. Do the same with the other bottom corner, like this. Then we're going to turn the paper round so these flaps are at the bottom. To make the cat's ears, take one flap and fold it upwards. You want it to stick out a little bit so you can see them. Fold it down. Now the tricky bit here is getting both sides to be the same size because I'm probably guessing you don't want your cat to have wonky ears. Flip it over, just to check that they're the same size. Yep, that looks good. And flip it back, and just fold the top bit down to make the top of the head. Flip the cat over again, and you can already see a little face starting to form. Now we're gonna fold both of these flaps at the bottom, upwards, about that much, and then give it a good crease and open it up. Now we're going to lift the front flap upwards and then tuck the other flap inside. So you should have one flap sticking out, just one. Fold down this top bit to make a little nose. And there's your cat head. I like to just tuck in the sides as well, like this. So you can do this too if you like. There we go. Get your pen and draw some eyes. If you've got googly eyes, you can stick these on instead and make it a crazy cat. <laughs> uh, colour in his nose. Maybe give him some whiskers. Maybe just give him some stripes as well. If you'd like to give your cat a body so he can stand up, take your other sheet of paper and like we did with the first one, fold this corner 
up to the opposite side neatly press down and then we're going to cut along this line again remember to be careful and ask a grown up if you need help with scissors Then again, with our triangle, the long straight side facing that way, we're going to fold this corner over so it lines up with the bottom to make a tail. Take your cat head, lift the nose up and slide in the body and you're done you can decorate him however you like maybe with some colored pencils or pens or stickers whatever you've got around your home once you've got the hang of it try using different sizes of paper i used a small piece and now i've got this little kitten to go with its mother if you enjoyed this why not try making something else there's lots of websites and videos that teach you how to fold things like an elephant, a flower, a bunny, a dog, a heart, or even a pencil. Just ask a grown up to help you search online for easy origami instructions and see what you could make. I hope you enjoyed this video and feel somewhat inspired to do some more origami. Thanks for watching.